my name is Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Jay Vanini. So I'm doing this one because I've realized I've never done an unboxing from him and honestly if you're looking for plants you can rely on, like the quality of them, the identification of the plant, he's really the guy to go to. His eBay handle is Heloderma5 and you can also reach him on his website where he has a contact email if you wanted to buy through him privately, which is the method that I typically do. And today in my video, I'm going to be drinking some tea because I'm looking to de-stress a little bit. For some reason, today particularly, I feel like I can't catch my breath and my heart's beating fast. And honestly, I just feel like everything just feels messy. So I know the kitchen looks clean behind me, but there are dishes in the sink. <laughs> and like right now, I know there's stuff on my nightstand and there's stuff on my coffee table. And just knowing that stuff is there, like, I don't know, it just really bugs me. And I just like haven't been feeling well enough to really do a good cleaning of my home. I've realized like, you know, through my plant collecting hobby that plants, even though they are a lot of work at times, are something that keep me relatively calm. So if I ever want to feel better, I usually go into my plant room. You know, I love looking at my plants, seeing them grow. And particularly, you all know, I really love my anthuriums. Of course, I do love other plants, but the anthuriums I get from Jay Vanini, like they hold a special place in my heart. He's just so wonderful when it comes to his plants and very excited to have these in my collection. So, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what they are, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and unbox them to show you how well he packages. And yeah, the tea is nice. Like, good chamomile tea. Like, that's my favorite. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping for a very zen unboxing. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed, like, my new terracotta pots that I have for the plants on top of my sliding glass door. There's one that has, like, an insane amount of, like, salt deposit already. Not sure where that's coming from, but yeah. Um, I don't think I've quite mentioned it, but I give my plants reverse osmosis water. So while the water is softened in my house, because I do have a water softener, because it can be pretty hard on your skin, it's filtered out by the reverse osmosis, which I have in my kitchen. So I have a separate faucet where I get the water for my plants. So. It's as pure as it can possibly get without having to buy jugs of water because honestly, like it hurts me to think how much plastic I was using before with it. So I definitely needed to do something and to me it was worth it. All right, so in this unboxing, there is going to be two plants and they're two of his newer hybrids. So as you can see, he just packs them with a lot of paper. So they just kind of stay suspended and travel. He always includes his business card. So if you see that there, I don't know if it'll focus, but I will put his information in the description. So he just always packages them really well. They're just always greatly protected. So honestly, between like the quality of his plants, the packaging of his plants, the communication, like. He's everything you'd want in a plant seller. So the plants can be pricey, but they are all grown by him and they're all fantastic. And personally, when you know you have a unique plant that will grow to be something really incredible, like, and it's something very authentic, you know, it's worth it. Especially if it's a plant that you particularly really, really like. So this particular anthurium here is one that he has dubbed Anthurium Quechua Queen. So this is actually a hybrid between Anthurium Marmoratum and Anthurium Regulosum. This really has a nice hue to it. I'm not sure how well it will pick up, but I'll definitely do a better one close up just. Look at that. So pretty. I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I really, really have, oh, there's a new leaf start for me. <laughs> Lately, I've been really into Regulosum and I don't own Anthurium Regulosum, 
but I've been interested in acquiring some of the hybrids because I know regulosum is very tolerant of low temperatures. And when you hybridize them, usually you get a plant that tolerates them low, tolerates them high, and it's a little bit more hardy than their parent plants. Very, very, very happy with that one. So cute. All right, and this next one, I think I'm even more excited about. I'm sorry if my enthusiasm isn't showing through, but I'm really just trying to keep myself calm. <laughs> I've already named these guys too, but I'm going to wait until I open them, until I declare them for sure. <laughs> I think I know which one I'm giving them. So I do have a third Regulusum hybrid, and I may or may not show you in this video. I might just take you to her. Maybe I'll bring her out. I feel spontaneous. So this one is my Ethereum Calca Queen. So this is actually a hybrid between Anthurium forgetii and Anthurium regulosum. So I, if you know me, I really love my forgetiis. <laughs> so it's exciting to really have this. I honestly can't wait for these both to grow up and really just kind of sh display more of their characteristics. My third regulosum is a much larger specimen and it just looks incredible. Like, I just can't wait to see, like, what these two, like, have to offer and show as they grow. Like, they're just going to be amazing plants. Like, look how cute that is. <laughs> I love that. So gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so this is my... Anthurium Warraquianum Regulusum hybrid. And this particular one is not from Jay, it's just from a private seller. And I am so in love with it. It's completely gorgeous and stunning. And if you ever get the opportunity to get one of these, I would highly, highly recommend it. Just trying to get it like in frame. <laughs> like it's just too stunning. I'm gonna have to like, do a recording of it later because I know you're not going to be able to see like the full sheer intensity of these leaves. <laughs> Honestly though, like gorgeous, gorgeous specimen. So obviously comparison wise, these are very small. So that's what I'm saying. Like they have so much potential still to grow. I just can't wait because Regulosum is a fairly large plant. I know, you know, Marmoratums can be fairly large. So the combination of that one, I feel like this one's just gonna be like a big long boy. <laughs> and honestly, I forget AI and Regulosum, that's like a dream. So I'm so, so excited about that. He's just so cute. Just so you can kind of get like a better view <laughs> of this guy, like, how freaking perfect is he like or she <laughs> so i've actually named this one queen amira since jay has named these ones calca queen and Kakechua queen i thought it was appropriate that i create like a full royal court thing going on so i'm going to stick at the queen thing this is her name's so this is queen amira my forgetty eye hybrid will be queen contessa and my Marmoratum one will be Queen Victoria. So this will be my Royal Court of Victoria, <laughs> my Royal Court of Regulosum hybrids. And I'm really excited about it. I think they're all gonna prove to be just incredible specimens. I mean, just look at the insanity of the largeness of this leaf. And she feels so good, like velvety, <laughs> but like so pebbly. So I'm going to do a close-up of these guys now, and then I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope everyone's taking it easy this quarantine, you know, relaxing a bit. If you're working a ton, you know, really think about things that could help calm you and relax you. It's something I need to get better at. I feel like in conjunction with like all the things I need to do every day, um, I probably spend a few hours a day 
just answering questions like off of Instagram. So it kind of feels like a job there and I think it's wearing on me a bit. And I apologize if I haven't got to your YouTube questions. I have read them all. I appreciate all of your comments. Like I love all of you. But honestly, I just feel like I have so much on my mind right now and I don't want this to get too overwhelming where I, you know, I don't want to do this anymore because I do enjoy putting out content, like sharing my plants with all of you, offering tips for all of you too. Like I want us all to be successful in this plant community. So it's never my intention to, you know, abandon you in that way. So I hope you don't feel that way. If I do happen to miss a video here or there, it's just time for me is not well managed at the moment and I'm not feeling my greatest. But how can you not feel good just looking at these guys? <laughs> like, focus on the Zephyrgetti eye. Like, how incredible. Like, you just know he's gonna be a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Like, they're, oh, look at that shimmer. Like, these are absolutely beautiful. But yeah, I really hoped you enjoyed watching this unboxing, this little video. I hope I didn't sound like too off-putting to anyone. Like I don't want to sound down or anything. Yeah, I just need to practice time management skills better. <laughs> so, yep, that's where I'm at right now. And plants have definitely, they've all, plants have always been my therapy, so. They're just now my therapy in a different way. You know, there was one reason I needed them. So if you haven't watched Elizabeth Plant's mental health video, which I did contribute to and collab with, I would definitely go check that out if you want to know more of how I got into plants and, and the reason it began kind of being my therapy. So it's a great video where a lot of different YouTubers talk about mental health. So I'd definitely go check that out. So it's funny because like, even though like, so even though like I get stressed about like thinking about recording sometimes, I find like just having this plant here already makes me feel better about it. I don't think, maybe it's cause he just looks so good in the screen. Like look at you, Amira, look at you. He's so fine. I don't get it. I'm just too lucky, I guess. I just feel so blessed right now with these plants. So stay tuned for a little bit of close-up shots with these guys. I really hope you like this content. And if you did, please give me a like. Any feedback down below would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. I do try to post every Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.